If you're thinking of going away and leaving your cats this festive time, then carry on watching because I've got some top tips for not only you, your cats, but also their carers too. It's no secret that cats suffer from separation anxiety in the same way that dogs can as well as humans. I don't know about you, but I get it when I go away and leave my cats. So whether you're leaving your cat for 24 hours or a week or even more, there are some great tips that you can put in place. Basil's just realised he hasn't seen me for five minutes and he's come to find me. That's separation anxiety for you. Making sure that you've got somebody checking in at least once every 24 hours, if not twice, is crucial because not only have they got to monitor the cat's mental well-being, but also the physical well-being. So they need to do a welfare check to make sure nothing untoward has happened and the cat is eating and drinking and using its tray normally. Asking your Echo device to play calming music for pets and you can ask them to play this for 10, 12 or however many hours. That's something that will be a constant relaxing noise for the cat in the background. Ensuring you've got um, synthetic pheromones plugged in can really, really help. This one's available from Amazon, as well as making sure that you've got some phytotherapy support with Pet Remedy. Now this is available as a plug-in, as well as the spray. So you could spray it into beds and things like that. Get your carer to spray that in every day. Gask the carer to rotate the cat's toys every day so they don't get bored and hopefully they can play with them and give them a little bit of enrichment. And then perhaps while they're there, they could load up a snuffle ball like this or a snuffle mat, anything to keep the cat entertained whilst you're away so they're not just getting bored. Also think about overnight temperatures are going to drop and if the heating isn't on, your cat's gonna get a little bit cold. So popping a microwavable heat pad in the bed will keep the cat warm and toasty overnight. Night lights aren't just for babies and security. It also gives the cat a regular routine and a pattern of the lights going on and it can make them feel more connected to human activity. So it keeps their routine as normal. Timed feeders are a godsend. So even if the person that's coming in just loads up the timed feeders, these are for wet food, you can use them for dry. So um, you can even get some that will actually um, record your, your voice. So you can call the cats and tell them it's feed time and then they'll dispense the food. So timed feeders have really, really come a long way. And it's just another way of keeping the cats tea time, feed time, routine consistent. Leaving your dressing gown or a shirt that you've worn for quite a few days, a night shirt or something, something that's been really, really close to your body and absorbed all your natural pheromones, leaving that for the cat to sleep on can be really comforting for the cat too. Pet cam or a, an indoor house camera can really give you peace of mind. It certainly does me when I go away, then I can check on the cameras and I can even speak to the cats. Another thing which people don't often think about is let your vet know that you're going away and give authority for somebody else to make decisions on your behalf if you're not going to be contactable. Make sure that you leave your pet carrier in a very, very visible place, not somewhere where it's suddenly going to stress the cat if the cat isn't used to seeing it out all the time, but certainly put it somewhere that whoever is looking after your pet can find it if it needs to be found. Make sure you have all your contact numbers up to date, your microchip details, etc. And pass this on to your cat sitter or the person who's looking after your cat whilst you're away. So asking the person who's taking care of your cat to maybe hide treats throughout the home or the rooms that the cats have got access to. This will keep them busy and hunting for food as well. Something else to stimulate them while the house is quiet. Another tip, and it's not for everybody, is to keep your cats indoors because there are some cats that are hugely um, attached to their pet parents and if they're not around they will go looking for them but this is down for a case by case basis so if you've got a cat like that my advice would be to keep it closed in and provide all the enrichment indoors for the short time that you're away. It also means that whoever's caring for the cat can actually see and do a welfare check to check that everything's okay. Packing bags can sometimes be traumatic for cats, especially if they've got the association that the bags mean that you're going to be leaving the home. So if you can, try and do this a little bit discreetly in another room where the cat doesn't have access to it.
Yes, of course, your cat is already conditioned to the, the suitcases are a happy thing, in which case that's fine. Don't forget to repost this video to share it with other friends who have pets too and happy holidays.